Today I have two questions for you. One, does the coat in yours or your kid's bug out bag still fit? And two, when was the last time you checked? If you don't know, don't feel bad. I'm here to help. In this video, I'm going to show you an insulation or a warmth layer that you can't grow out of. Stay tuned. Hello friends and family, thanks for checking in. For anyone new here, my name is Russell Liston and I'm here to help you as you prepare every needful thing. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I'd like to invite you to do so. Also, you'll find links in the description below of the products that we discussed today. This is part two of my clothing system for my bug out bag. It's often referred to as the insulation or the warmth layer. If you have not had a chance to check out part one of my clothing system, I would invite you to take a look at that video now. As I mentioned, there are clothes that I keep in my kit at all times, and this insulation or warmth layer is part of it. I can keep them in my kit and not have to change them out because they are one size fits all, meaning that my kids can't grow out of them and neither can I, and that is one less thing for me to worry about. Before we move on, I need you to do something for me. We're going to make a pinky promise. Okay, get your pinky up there. All right, I promise that I will not laugh too hard at what I see in this video. And when we are done, we will never speak of it again. Okay, good, thank you. I'm just kidding, I think you're gonna love this and I think you're gonna wanna share it with everyone you know. Sure, I don't expect to see anyone wearing this around town, but in an emergency, you're going to be grateful to have a clothing system that fits. There are three parts to this insulation or warmth layer, the top, the bottom, and the accessories. Let's start with the accessories. Each person is going to want to have these in their kit. These items can be purchased as a one size fits all, or if you have extra of these items kicking around your house, your bug out bag would be a great place to keep them. A warm hat, a scarf, warm gloves, and a few pairs of nitrile gloves. These can be combined to be a simple waterproof glove and three pairs of warm socks. The socks can be used as extra warmth for your hands and your feet. And now for the bottom. This is a multi-purpose piece of gear. It is a fleece sleeping bag liner, or you could use two yards of fleece fabric. It will just be missing the zipper. It can be used as part of your sleep system. It can be unzipped and used as a blanket to put over you or someone else. And for our clothing system, we will be using it as a wrap. Okay, it's like wearing a big beach towel. This is so simple and so warm. It can be folded and adjusted to be short or long. To help keep it in place, use a few safety pins. And if you're going to be sitting down, adjust it so there are more layers on your backside. And now for the grand finale. Drum roll, please. I present the fleece poncho. The simplicity of this is what makes it so awesome. It's basically two yards of fabric with a hole cut out. This is a no-sew design. We are just going to measure, mark, and cut. The reason we are going to put a little work into it is that I want the fleece poncho to be able to fit underneath the rain poncho. We will be discussing the rain poncho in a later video when we talk about the shell layer, but for now I'll just give you a sneak peek. Make sure you check out our next video where I'll walk you through how to make your very own fleece poncho step by step. Today's assignment is to evaluate your warmth layer in your evacuation kit. Is it good to go or does it need a little help? My answer to this assignment is, I feel like it's getting better. Sure, this insulation system is a little dorky, but it keeps me warm, I don't have to rotate it, and it doesn't cost that much money. So how about you? What's your system? How does it work? I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know in the comments below. Today's thought is by Bear Grylls. He said, survival can be summed up in three words, never give up. That's the heart of it really, just keep trying. 
Thanks Bear Grylls, that's a great thought. If you've liked this video today, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Once again, I would like to thank you for your time and may God bless you as you prepare every needful thing. Thanks.